Topaz Photo AI gets a new update. This is version 2.2.2. There are a few fixes here. There's nothing really for me to show you because there's no new additions to this update, but I do want to show you how to use Topaz Photo AI as a standalone app to enhance your images without upscaling them. You could do this in Photoshop using Topaz Photo AI as a plugin, but you can also do it right in Photo AI as a standalone app, and I'll show you how to do that today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, there's another update for Topaz Photo AI version 2.2.2. There's nothing for me to show you in this update today because these are all fixes. And I'm going to put up in the screen right now the different fixes in this update. So these are the fixes. You may want to pause the video and get a look at what these fixes are. But I'm going to jump right into a short tutorial showing you how to enhance your images right in Topaz Photo AI without upscaling them. I'm in Photoshop and we could always use Topaz Photo AI as a plugin in Photoshop to enhance images. Now I have this image right here. If I wanted to enhance it, I could come up here to Filter, go to Topaz Labs, go to Topaz Photo AI launch Topaz Photo AI, and then you'll notice right here we have Enhance. We don't have Upscale here. You have to use the Automate feature in Photoshop to upscale your images in Photoshop, but if you just run it as a plugin, you're going to get Enhance. So you could click on Enhance, and you'll notice it says Enhancing one time. You're not upsizing, you're just enhancing. And of course, you have the different AI models, standard, high fidelity, graphics, and low resolution. And so you can see we could have always done it in Photoshop. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do any enhancing to this image. So I can just come up here, click on Topaz Photo AI, and quit Topaz Photo AI. Don't save, and that'll send me back into Photoshop. Now, if you did want to upscale this, what you would need to do in Photoshop is come up here to File, Find Automate, and then Find... Topaz Photo AI, click on that, that'll send you into Topaz Photo AI, and then you'll be able to upscale your image. So I just wanted to point that out. And now we're inside of Topaz Photo AI as a standalone app, and I will show you how to enhance your images. Now, why would you want to enhance images? Well, you may have some old edits that are JPEGs, low quality, or let's say smartphone images that you would like to make prints out of. Enhance is great for removing things like JPEG artifacts, and it uses AI to do it. So now let me show you how to enhance your images without upscaling. I have this first image, which is a low quality JPEG image, and then I have a smartphone image to show you. All right, so what we would do is click on upscale, and right away you'll notice upscaling by two times. Now, how do you enhance without upscaling? It's really very simple and easy. All you have to do is you see right here, this first box, just click on the number two and type in one and type your return key. And now you'll notice it says enhancing one time. So now it's not upscaling, but only enhancing the image. Pretty cool, right? Now let's talk about these AI models. And if you hover over AI model, you get some information. Standard is for medium quality images from older cameras and smartphones. High fidelity for high quality images from modern cameras and smartphones. Graphics for art and computer generated images. And then low resolution for low quality and highly compressed images, which I would consider this image to be. Low quality, highly compressed. Now, right now, this is set up for high fidelity, and I can see some compression right in here. You see here and here, and also down in here. And we also have some sliders, minor denoising, minor deblurring, and fixed compression. So we have all kind of adjustments here, but these are the auto adjustments it's set on right now for this low quality JPEG. And as you can see, it has some compression if you look at these areas right in here. Let me click on low resolution. And as you can see, that looks a whole lot better. If you wanna see the before and after, just left click your mouse on the image. There's before the enhancement and here it is after, so pretty good. And then at this point, if you wanted to save out this image, you would just click save and you could save it as whatever you want, another JPEG, TIFF, whatever you need to do. 
Okay, so there's that image and there's that example. And again, on this case, I would use low resolution. And if you needed some more noise reduction, you could bump up this slider. Or if you needed to uh, sharpen it up a little more, you can adjust this slider to the right. But I think everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and make this fit the screen again. So I'm going to click right here and click on fit. And now let's move over to this image right here. Let me click on it. Now this image is an iPhone image, a smartphone image. So let's go ahead and click upscale. Now again, remember the trick to enhance without upscaling. You need to click on the first block right on the number. Click it. It becomes highlighted. Type your number one key. Now this says one X, but you got to type your return key. And now it says enhancing one X or one time, meaning it's not getting upscaled. Now it's important for me to note here, whenever you upsize an image, downsize an image, keep the image the same size, no matter what you do here, you will be enhancing your image. By the way, if you come to this first box and click on the one and type in 0.5, you'll downsize the image half its size, or you could put in there like 0.25 and it will be the quarter of its size. So you can upsize, keep it the same size, or downsize your images, which is really nice. And don't forget you're enhancing them at the same time. I went ahead and zoomed into this image 400 times so I could see if there's any compression. And yes, I can see there's some compression up here in the clouds. Now this is a JPEG image from my iPhone 13 Pro Max, I believe it is. So it's a modern camera. And if I hover over AI model and we look at high fidelity, we can see it's for high quality images for modern cameras and smartphones. So I think I can get away with high fidelity, but there is a little bit of compression in here. So what I'll do, we do have this fixed compression slider. So I'm going to drag this up a good bit and I'm going to try right here at like 80%. Give it a second or two to go ahead and do its thing here to update itself. And there you go. So if I left click and hold, here's my before and here's my after. So it's gotten rid of that compression and I am happy with that. So that's all there is to it. And also I do have the minor denoise slider if I needed to get rid of some extra noise and the minor de blur if I needed to sharpen it a bit. And now at this point, if I wanted to save out these two images, I could come down here to the film strip, click on select all, and click save two images and now we can see our export dialog under file name i always like to give mine a prefix of photo ai you can also give them a suffix or you could change these by typing in something else you can add applied filters to the file name by toggling this on and then you could choose where you want to save the images to in this case i would just go to the original folder but this is a drop down you can click this and go to browse and choose a different folder, whatever you want. And then you can choose a format. This is a drop down, So I would click this and I would choose in this case, probably JPEG. And then you can adjust your quality here and then just click save and you are done. And it's just that easy. Well, there it is, everyone. Topaz Photo AI gets a new update. It was mainly bug fixes, which I wasn't able to show you anything today but I did show you how to enhance images without upscaling. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.